Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV. Today, I would like to show you one of the most common window air conditioner problems and how you can fix them. So one of the most common problems is that the window air conditioner unit will stop cooling or it'll not cool as well as it used to. So in the past, it used to cool down the room in like, let's say half an hour, hour, but now it takes two hours and it's barely keeping up. The temperature only goes down to like, I don't know, 75 degrees and no lower. One of the reasons that could cause this, and this happens to be one of the most frequent reasons, is simply that you have a dirty filter. So all of these window air conditioners in front, they have a filter that sometimes gets forgotten about. So in my case, my screen just kind of pops down like that. But your unit may be a little bit different. You just need to figure out how to pop the screen down or to take the filter or to slide it out. Different units will have different styles of filters. In my case, this just pops out like this and I can take out the little filter screen right over here. As you can see, mine is super dirty. The best way to clean this would be to just take it outside and wash it down. If that's not an option for you, you could always just vacuum it and brush it. That usually is more than enough. But if you do have the opportunity, it's nice to just take it outside. And by outside, I mean take the whole entire thing outside and wash down the whole thing, not just the filter. This is the most important, but the other stuff is important too. So anything that gets by the filter will get stuck on this coil right here. So this evaporator coil or a radiator looking thing that's right behind the filter, this can get dirty as well. As you can see, mine has some buildup on it. And this you can try to vacuum. Not much will come off with the vacuum. The best is to wash it down with some hose and water, which I'm gonna do in a second. So you got this coil in front. The way it works is your unit is sucking air in through here and then blowing it out through the top right over here. That's why you got all this dust and whatever else accumulating in the front. As for the back of the unit, the portion that's sticking outside, it's sucking air in from the sides and from the top and blowing it out through the back. That's why you see stuff on these grates. Everything that sticks, you know, like cotton wood and whatever else is flying in the air. This sometimes gets plugged up as well on the top and on either side. So once again, it's nice to be able to wash this down outside. The best way to do this is to take this whole entire thing outside. If that's not an option for you, once again, a vacuum works pretty well if that's possible for you. Or you can just spray the unit down without even taking it out of the house because this portion is sitting outside. You would simply just aim the hose and water downwards and just spray off as much of this stuff as you can. So once you have this monstrosity outside, the first thing you wanna do is take the front off Usually it's just gonna be a couple of clips on the sides that hold it. Just work your way around it. And this whole front should come off like this. The little clips that hold it are these guys right here. And you got clips right over here that it comes into. So you take the whole front off. And as you can see, mine is pretty dirty. You got some mold starting to grow and dust and other stuff. We can wash this while we're at it. And after you got the front off, this whole casing, the body of this thing that's around it, you can take that off as well. On some air conditioners, you have to take apart like 20 screws to get it off. On mine, I simply have two screws on the sides, which I already taken out. So these screw holes are right here, one on this side and one on the other. And then I had two screws in the back as well, one on this side and one on this side. So you may have just a couple of screws like me, or you might have like 20 screws. So once you have all those screws out, your casing will either come apart, like you can just take it off, or in my case, mine actually slides out. And the easiest way to do this would be to actually take this whole thing and put it on the floor on its butt. Oh man, this thing weighs a ton. So once you have it down on its butt, you can just pull it right out and this thing just slides out. They say that if you grunt or make other loud exhaling noises while you're lifting heavy objects, it makes it easier on your body. I don't know how true that is, but I've been doing it ever since. So we got the case off, and this is what it looks like inside. My seal is coming apart here. I'm gonna have to just glue this back. But anyway, we got this off. My casing looks pretty filthy and dirty as well. Right there on the side, you got all the cottonwood and stuff. I'll go ahead and wash that down as well while I'm at it. 
So we can take this here. And while I'm washing down the condenser coil and the evaporator coil, those radiator looking things, I'll leave these things to soak. And some people will say that you need coil cleaner to clean those coils good. But in most cases, really all you need is just some water and some dish soap. And then you just go ahead and spray everything down with your soapy water. Let it soak a little bit. Probably like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Hit it on all the sides. So we got the casing and then we have our screen. Really, you don't need the soapy water. You could probably do all of this with just washing it and wiping it down with a rag and stuff. But this just makes it easier. Stuff comes off a lot easier. Spray it down, let that soak. Then you can spray down the coil that's in front and in the back. Let that soak a little bit too while you're getting your hose and water ready. You can just spray the whole front. Make sure you don't get your control or if you have knobs, don't spray that part. It's okay if it gets a little wet, but you don't wanna be soaking this electrical part. And of course, if you're doing this with this thing still inside the house, um, if you're gonna be wiping it down with wet rags and stuff like that, you wanna have the power disconnected. And I have a bunch of rust and other dirt on the bottom here and water normally accumulates in here. So that's a pretty normal occurrence that there's gonna be a little bit of rust. And I actually have a video where I talk about all the components and parts inside of an air conditioner. If you're interested, you could check that out. I talk about this little channel over here too. That's where the water drains out. Sometimes this port gets plugged up. So that's just one thing to look for. Make sure that port is all clear so you won't have a little flood inside your house. So once you have everything sprayed down, you can go get your hose and water and we can start washing this thing down. So the casing, the screen, and that front grate have been soaking for a while now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with them. Some of this stuff does not completely come off with just soap and water, so you do need to apply some brushing. And before you put it all back together, just lay it out to dry so most of that water comes off of it. Let's get our screen next. There, look at that, much better. That's looking really good. And actually, I don't want all of this nasty stuff going all over to my white table, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the floor before I start spraying it. You can pretty much spray all of this. The only part you don't really want to be spraying is the electrical part right here where your control is, basically where all the wires go to. 
If it gets a little wet, it's no big deal. Just allow it to dry before you turn the unit on. And then the motor in the back here, the fan motor, even though it's meant to be outside, it's sealed, but you don't want to be pouring water on it because if water, too much water does get in there, it can wreck that motor. So don't be spraying that and don't be spraying the electrical stuff. Otherwise, the two important things that you're trying to get is the evaporator coil in the front and then that condenser coil in the back. Just like this. And some of these can get really dirty. Okay, so we're all done with the washing and optimally you want to leave it all apart and let it dry out before you reassemble. But since I won't be using this, I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together and just let it dry out in one piece. By the way, if you were taking out many screws to take your unit apart, it may be helpful if you take pictures along the way so you know how, every, how everything comes back together because my unit is pretty easy to take apart, but some units are not as friendly as mine is. Okay. Put this back on the table. And actually, let's put it back on its butt. Go ahead and head and put the front back on. It should just clip in place. My hands are a little bit dirty, so I'm actually dirtying up the face that I just cleaned. That's okay, I can wipe it down later. And let's flip this back. And let's go ahead and put our screen back in. And honestly, the way I cleaned it is not squeaky clean. You could really make it super shiny if you wanted to, but operationally, you know, as long as you get most of the stuff, cosmetics don't matter as much. So we got our clean screen back in. Everything is back together and we have ourselves a washed AC unit. Well guys, and that is all I had to share with you about how to clean a window AC unit. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions or maybe you're a technician watching this and you have further tips or suggestions that I may have missed about how to clean a window AC unit, all your comments are really welcome in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. Thank you.